Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I want to actually look a little bit more into the Blue Eddy EB3A and being able to charge it with a typical 12 volt 100 amp lithium iron phosphate battery. Um, now if you don't recall, I, uh, I made a video a month or two ago about how you can make a cable that will uh, that will make it so you can plug it into the EB3A and connect it directly to a 12 volt battery in order to just charge up straight from a battery DC right to the EB3A it's pretty efficient um, but I really didn't I don't really know how efficient that was and also in the comments a lot of people were saying that they were using a buck converter to increase the voltage of the 12 volt battery to 24 volts thus being able to charge the EB3A even quicker I went ahead and bought a uh, buck converter uh, if you want to look more into these I'll have a link down into the description um, but I'm gonna go ahead and wire it up and we're gonna see what the increase actually is and also we're gonna find out what the efficiency of uh, a 12 volt direct connection and the efficiency of using a 12 volt to 24 volt buck converter uh, to charge the EB3A. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, well here is the cord that I made in the previous video about this. And it was called extending the battery life of your Blue Eddy EB3A. So what, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and use this cord again and I'm going to connect this battery, this uh, SOK battery, to the EB3A and we're going to see how much the EB3A is accepting which I think in the last video was right around 100 watts, like 98, 99, 100 watts uh, but then we're also going to see how much, the, uh, how much the SOK battery is giving out and uh, you know, so we'll be able to see the, uh, the amperage and the voltage of the battery and we will calculate how many watts are coming out of the battery so that way we can calculate the efficiency um, and then after we figure all that out we're going to go ahead and wire up this buck converter and we'll do the same test again uh, and then after all that's said and done I was, I was going to go ahead and see how long it takes to charge this EB3A from 0 to 100 percent using a buck converter and one 12 volt battery. Um, so let me go ahead and get this all hooked up and we'll go ahead and find out what the efficiency is. Okay, well I have the wiring hooked up to the battery and all there is to do is plug this into the EB3A. Uh, let's go ahead and put the, uh, the, the smart BMS software on the screen and put it right here. And um, let's go ahead and plug it in and see what happens. All right, look at that, it's charging now. Um, I went ahead and depleted this, so it's at 1% right now. Uh, and you can see that the input is uh, 100 watts uh, or 99 watts. So between 99 and 100 watts is what the EB3A is stating it is receiving. Um, and then if we actually look at the SOK uh, BMS, you can see that our voltage is 13.22 and the amperage that's being drawn out is uh, 8.16 so if we multiply those together you basically get 107.7 watts so if you divide 100 divided by 107 should we say 107 yeah 107 so we'll divide 100 by 107 and that will give us our efficiency which I'm calculating to be 93.4 so we're looking at a 94.3% efficiency rate from going a, from a 12 volt battery directly to the EB3A. And on the EB3A, it says that it would take about 2.6 hours at this rate to charge this from uh, 2% all the way up to 100. All right, well, um, let's go ahead and wire up this buck converter and, uh, and do this exact same test to see what its efficiency is. All right, and the nice thing about this cord is when I chose to create it, I put in this XT60 plug. So all I need to do is unplug this, 
And then uh, what I'm gonna do is put a couple of XT60s on each side of the buck converter and we'll be able to plug right into these. And so that way it's a nice easy connection. And these will be opposites, so there's no way of accidentally uh, connecting to the wrong side. So let's go ahead and get all of this wired up. All right, and for anyone that's never wired up a buck converter before, it's super easy. Just turn it over and it tells you exactly what wires are what. Here is the input side, and this is the 12 volt side. So this is gonna be wired to our 12 volt battery. And here is the positive, which is going to be connecting over here, and the negative, which is gonna be connecting on the other side. So what we'll be using is this XT60 connector, and we're basically gonna connect these two together, and that's gonna be our 12 volt side. And the other side is the 24 volt side, and the negative is here, and the positive is here. And uh, this is going to be connecting to the EB3A. So this will have this connector right here, which will in turn plug into right here. So this, this on this side, and this on this side. So I went ahead and Clip these wires a little bit. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. I'm gonna use a couple of butt splices to connect everything and, uh, we'll, and we'll be good to go. Okay, that side's done. I just need to shrink it up a little bit, but I'm gonna go ahead and crimp these on now also. Okay, everything's done. My connections are nice and snug. So I'm gonna go ahead and heat shrink these so they're all nice and finished, and then we will plug them in. Okay, our, our uh, XT60 connections are all ready to go on our buck converter. So the last thing we need to do is just plug it in. So we still have our connection to our battery right here. And again, you can't screw it up because the plugs are, uh, they only go one direction. So let's go ahead and plug this in. Okay, and then here is the plug to go to our EB3A. All right. Okay, so let's go ahead and plug it in and see what we get. Remember before, we we're getting between 99 and 100 watts going into the system. So let's see what we get now, just by adding a buck converter. All right, just by adding a buck converter, we did exactly what we expected. We doubled the input into the EB3A. So instead of getting uh, 99 to 100 watts of input, we are now maxed out at 199 watts. And if you look on the screen, um, our voltage is 13.07 and our current is 18.46. And I noticed that the, uh, the voltage on the battery is is dropping a little bit. Uh, but those numbers I grabbed, uh, the battery was pulling 241 watts. So let's go ahead and so I see the input. The input now is 196. So let's go ahead and grab what's being pulled from the battery right now. So 13.05 times 18 point, oh God, the, the current just keeps fluctuating by a lot actually. But let's, let's try to take the average of that. I see 17.6 and I also see 18.4. So let's just say 18, 18 amps. Let's go with 18 amps and 13.04.
and that is 235 watts. So if you take 195 divided by 235, your efficiency has dropped to 83%. So that's one thing that you need to think about. Is it worth it to get that quicker charge, but at a less efficient rate? Um, or could you spend the time to uh, charge up your EV3A just with building a cable without the buck converter and having a much more efficient way of charging it? What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go ahead and drop this thing back down to zero. And then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and charge it from zero to 100% using the buck converter, which I've noticed that this is, it's, it's, it's warm, it's a little warm. Um, and we're gonna see how long it actually takes to charge up the EB3A from zero to 100% using the buck converter. Um, I don't have, uh, I don't really have any way of like showing the temperature of the buck converter, but I'll let you know if it's hot. Maybe I'll try, I'll try to do a meat thermometer again. I don't know if it works, but whatever. I'm more wanting to know how long it's actually going to take to charge it with the buck converter. So let me go ahead and kill this EB3A all the way down to zero again, and we'll start that test. Okay. Well. I went ahead and uh, killed this battery again. You can see that it is at 0%. So we're gonna go ahead and plug it in and start charging it. All right, there we go. All right, it's now charging, it's now charging at 190 watts. Um, I have my little meat thermometer right here that's keeping temperature of the uh, buck converter. And right now the buck converter is at 88 degrees. So we're gonna also monitor that to see uh, how hot it gets. Because that 10% efficiency loss has gotta go somewhere and it is definitely in the form of heat. Okay, so the EV3A does say that it'll take about 1.3 hours to charge up all the way, which if you remember before, with just the battery, it said 2.6. So uh, again, it's you're just getting double the charging rate, but at a 10% efficiency loss from just charging it directly from the battery to the EV3A. So I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna come back in a half hour. Um, that way I can see what the temperature is on the buck converter and uh, see where we stand with what the charge is on the EV3A. Okay, well it's been a one half hour and so let's go ahead and see where our EB3A is at. And it is at 37%. And it's still inputting 193 watts. Um, and it says that's going to point, take point, point 0.8 hours to finish. I'm guessing that means like 50 minutes. So, uh, but let's go ahead and check the temperature of our buck converter. And it's upside down, but if you can read that, that says 183 degrees. Uh, that's pretty hot. That, that's actually, yeah, that's 183.9 degrees. I want to make sure it's not melting the rubber on my desk. Jeez. Yeah, okay, so 184 degrees. So, and it's not even halfway done yet. So, um... That is something that you need to keep into consideration, that your buck converter is going to get hot. Um, and the only reason I have it like this, I mean, you can see that the buck converter is, it's upside down. And it shouldn't, it shouldn't be like that. The fins should be pointing up. Um, and I think I'm going to go ahead and turn it around so that way I don't actually burn up my, my buck converter. Um, because I did not expect it to get, you know, 184 degrees. I mean, you can start cooking stuff on that thing. So, uh, yeah, it's already up to 185 degrees now. It's still going up. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip it over so it it gets a little bit of air. And uh, you know, and I'll come back. I'll come back in 50 minutes when this thing thinks it's gonna be done, and we'll see. We'll see where we're at. 
Okay, well, it's been another 50 minutes. Uh, so let's see where we're at. We're at 92% on the Blue Eddy. Uh, our thermometer says 185.7 degrees. So this thing is still very hot. <laughs> it's definitely 185 degrees. Uh, that, to me, that's concerning. I don't know if this would, I don't know if this would burn out really fast. If you do ever do this, I really recommend you get a nice large fan to put on top and have that running, maybe a 12 volt fan that could sit right there and, and better dissipate that heat that's coming off of this because this thing does get hot. But we are actually looking at uh, going from zero to full in about an hour and a half. But we'll let it keep running and go from there. Okay, it's been five more minutes and uh, I noticed that we're at 96% and the input wattage has really dropped. It's dropped down between 45 and 60 watts. And also our, uh, our buck converter is starting to actually cool down. Uh, it's at 172 degrees now. It's still really hot, but it's cooling down also because there's just not as much amperage going through the system. Okay, well our test is complete and it took exactly one and a half hours to charge up this Blue Eddy with a, 20, a 12 to 24 volt buck converter. What are my thoughts of this setup? Well, it definitely has its pros and I believe it has its cons. The pros are you get double the charging power from a 12 volt battery to your Blue Eddy EB3A. So you're able to charge at 200 watts opposed to 100 watts. And it's pretty easy to set up. I mean, this buck converter, I think it only costs like 25 or $30 on Amazon. Now, um, the cons of it, um, well, you get a pretty good size efficiency loss. Uh, you know, you're going from a 96% efficiency loss by just going directly from the battery to the EB3A down to what, an 80, 83 or 84% efficiency rate? Um, I mean, so you're basically, I think we we're losing 10%, so it might have been 86. But anyway, you're losing about 10% more efficiency by transferring energy, uh, by, by doubling the, the amount of wattage that's going into the EB3A. So that's something that you kind of need to keep into consideration. Um, if you're just, I mean, if you're using one battery, that, I mean, that 10%, it's 10%. So um, another downside is the amount of heat that this bug converter puts out. I mean, I'm, it's been off for a few minutes now and it's still hot to the touch. The thermometer still says 137 degrees, but it got up to 185 degrees. That is something you need to make sure and keep into consideration. You, if, you, if, you do, if you do have this set up somewhere, I would make sure and have some sort of, uh, you know, maybe mount it on a big piece of metal so it can dissipate the heat better, or also put a 12 volt fan like on the top, mounted to the top so it blows the heat away. Uh, 185 degrees, I mean, that's hot. Um, I honestly don't know what the working temperature of this buck, this buck converter is, uh, but I feel like 185 degrees is, is pretty toasty. All right, with all that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, if you have any questions about uh, any of the, the processes that I did, uh, please go ahead and leave them in the comments. Um, everything that you see here, I'll go ahead and put links in the description, so that way you can click on them and see more information about them. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.